Google Fire claims that they provide you with 5G internet speed both in the US and abroad without that massive bill when you get home. Is that real or is that fake? Well, I'm about to put that claim to the test. So what is Google Fi actually offering? Well, let's check it out. On select Fi plans, when you go abroad, you get automatic international coverage in over 200 destinations. Mm, two things. First, the fact that it's automatic coverage. That's massive. That means that wherever you get to any country, you simply switch on your phone and you will automatically be hooked up to the local cellular provider and you immediately get online. And before the plane even taxis to the arrivals gate, you're already connected. Love that. Secondly, 200 destinations. So let's make sure that the country that I'm traveling to is covered. If not, pretty short video. Quick head over to the Google Fi website. I'm looking for I for Italy and is it there? Yes, it is. Let's go. Okay, Italy is covered. So what's next? On the unlimited plus plan, international data costs are included. Okay, that's interesting. Unlimited data plan, no hidden costs, no bull shock when you get back. I also like unlimited as I will be using my phone as a hotspot for all the other devices in the family. Okay, to get a Google Fi is pretty simple. Head over to their website and simply follow the prompt. I personally have a Google Pixel phone, so I'm gonna use that with the eSIM option, which basically means I can keep my T-Mobile SIM in the device itself. I can have all my phone calls and texts going through T-Mobile and then only have data going through Google Fi. But the big question is about Google Fi's data speed. Before I head out to Italy, let's see what kind of data speed I get back home in Dallas. Right, let's get started firstly with Google Fi and run goodoldspeedtest.net. Obviously, I'm fast forwarding this bit so you don't have to sit through the whole process. Now, as a download speed, 59.6, upload speed, 8.81. Cool, now I'm gonna go and change it to the T-Mobile. So with T-Mobile in the US, I'm gonna get a download speed of 12.4 and then an upload speed of uh, 12. Okay, Google Fi is clearly faster than T-Mobile, which is really, really weird. You see, because Google Fi is actually something called an MVNO, a mobile virtual network. Essentially, it is run by Google, but it uses T-Mobile and US Cellular as their infrastructure, and yet, it's still faster than T-Mobile? That's weird. The next tests are all gonna be performed in Italy, so I'm gonna get that information, screen record it, and then share it with you when I get back. Okay, our first test from Italy comes courtesy of a place called Agropoli. Let's start off with Google Fi, see what kind of speed we're gonna get. It is obviously slower than in the US. Again, I'm internationally roaming, but that's not bad. 11.7 as a download speed. Upload speed, ooh, a little slower, 1.64 as the upload speed. So T-Mobile is now connected, or connecting, a little slower, a lot slower. 0.223, 0.23 as a download speed and the upload speed 0.25. <laughs> Google Fi just smoked T-Mobile in that data test. It wasn't even close. Okay, what about from San Marino in Italy? So oh, Google Fi, what kind of speed are we gonna get? 3.17 as the download and then the upload speed was sitting at 2.92. Okay, let me swap over to the T-Mobile, run the same tests again on speedtest.net. I'm using the app, of course. And here I'm gonna get a whopping 0.16 as the download and the upload 0.25. Yep, same result. Google Fi still much faster. Now, I will mention that I'm using the free T-Mobile International Data Roaming Service. It's like 2G LTE speed and it's limited to five gigs. I could have upgraded that to their International Data Pass plan, but those two have data limitations. So, after three weeks abroad with Google Fi, is it fake or is it real? Well, my phone instantly and automatically connected to every single country I was at and the data just flowed. When I got back home, there was no increase in my bill just because I was away using international roaming. So Google Fi is real and it earns the techie guy stamp of approval. What else should I test? Let me know in the comments. And in the meantime, check out this video over here to see if you really need a VPN today or is it just more marketing hype? And check out this video over here that YouTube thinks you should watch. Hit the head down here to subscribe and I will see you in this video or this video, or I'll see you in both.
Let's go.